So the critic review score for HBO's Velma series is continuing to fall. Really? What a shock. Going from a 47 a few weeks ago down to now a 42. And even amongst the sea of negativity, a few brave critics have dared to submit their positive reviews for HBO's Velma. And some of them have even flat out come to the show's defense. Buckle up, buggeroos. Patrick McDonald from the HollywoodChicago.com. Well, I find the series to be very funny, much in the cadence of Never Have I Ever. If you like that show, you'll love this one. But to me, a serious adult style Archie and his gang in Riverdale is weirder than a meta and diversity comedic update to Scooby Doo. They even referred to Riverdale, the series, in the. Yes, in exactly. the... Oh, they did? Yeah. Yes. What the fuck are you talking about? Zoinks and Jinkies. The interview then turns a little creepy. Cartoon naked high school girls is not what I tuned in to see. Wait, that's what you saw? Well, they had soap in appropriate places, but still I was like, what is this? Like, I what would is not going expect on? that. There's two cockroaches doing it in the first 15 seconds <laughs> of, the, of the beginning. Of, okay, interesting. The is grody. Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? Now, after trying to normalize the idea of animated underage high school girls showering together, they then decide to attack the fans for not liking the show. But again, critics and audiences are devastated that the mystery gang is being updated. It has a 5% rating on, uh -oh. on the Rotten Tomatoes. I'm triggered. Yeah. I suggest they go back and watch the 10,000 other takes on Scooby-Doo that make so they can be comfortable. Yeah, well, it's like when the mermaid was suddenly black because mermaids are all white. Yeah, I never understood the outrage over that. Like, like uh, you know, other than just people can't handle change. Okay, bro, two things. One, the race swap of Velma is one of the lesser criticisms of this show, believe it or not. And two, your hypocrisy really shines because if the exact opposite was ever done, let's say that Bucky Barnes, a white man, was to become the new Black Panther in Black Panther 3, right? You would lose your fucking shit over it and you cannot convince me otherwise. And that's because you and all the others who say that will only approve of the change you want. But, yeah, uh, it's so weird, isn't it? Yeah. But bottom line, I think the show is very funny. Velma, four out of five, currently on HBO Max. Watch it. You must be on crack. I've attached a link to this entire interview in the description of this video if you'd like to check it out. Also, if you could, real quick, please hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'd appreciate it. I really would. I think a lot of the major commentators are really blowing Velma out of proportion. I don't think it's as bad as people are saying. Calling Velma the worst show ever, saying that it's just terrible and that there's no redeeming qualities, I really think that that's just an overreaction. Oh, yeah, no. You know what? No, yeah. Don't let these big commentators fool you guys. There are some redeeming things about Velma that if you don't mind the political stuff and some of the bad jokes, you might actually enjoy this show. Oh, okay. While its departure from the source material may be a turnoff for diehard Scooby fans, do you think? It still has a lot of love for the franchise in all its iterations. No. Especially for Mystery Inc.'s beloved brain. Uh, Reginald Sex Offender is back from the registry, and he says, I just don't see what the big deal is. Yes, they are minors but they are voiced by adults, which makes it okay for them to be in adult situations. Grow up, people. All joking aside, I have heard people make this argument. Carla Meyer of the San Francisco Chronicle. The dialogue can be racy for a show about teens, but the animation and 40-year-olds voicing the roles help mitigate the creepiness factor. Although the animated backdrops are sharper and more textured, the visuals here seem to be less aimed at wowing 2023 audiences than evoking the 70s cartoon, which they do quite ably. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that so I can be sane for the rest of the remainder of my life. Another thing I'm seeing is that some of these guys are attacking the original Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Hate Velma all you want, but you can't hate it because it's not true to the source material, because the source material is also bad. No! 
the original Scooby-Doo has that really rigid Hanna-Barbera animation. It's got voice actors that don't know what they're doing. Casey Kasem's just like, yeah, I'll show up because my name's on it. And the worst part about it, it has a laugh track. If a show needs a laugh track to tell you when something is funny, newsflash, it's not funny. <laughs> Why is it that everyone defending this show seems to be a skinny white dude with glasses? Velma's suspense isn't gripping on its own, but it doesn't matter. The voice performances make the brief lulls worth it. The actors are clearly having a ball, with the warm chemistry between Kaling, Wu, Richardson, and Howerton shining through even as they don't appear on screen. The supporting cast is equally chariming. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck was that? I'm sorry, man. Sorry, man. No, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about it. Herpy Lovesore from the STD Positive, a top critic, says, Review bombing lowlifes. If you take out all the 1 out of 10 votes, the rating is well over 50%. I am really sick of the it was review bombed defense for terrible shows like this and others. If we're going to acknowledge this is true, then you have to also acknowledge that the opposite is true. Remember all the 10 out of 10 audience reviews I've covered on my channel regarding Velma? This review bombing excuse is just a means for people to lie to themselves about the popularity of the show. And it's a way for the creators of these shows to not take responsibility for their terrible product. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some of the other content already live on the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.